citizens it's that time you are officially in the alert zone welcome to the alert zone tv <clears throat> i'm the wizard uncle james i would love for you to become an active citizen and you already know what to do so i just wanted to do a video today about the importance of checking your edc as you guys can see i got the walter pk380 uh my other edc uh even though I got my mechanic that I carry, I call it my winter EDC. I still carry this thing the most. Um, it's chambered in 380. We out here in the cold. As you guys can see, I got these damn... Uh, shit. I got a brain fire. I got these damn gloves slash uh, mittens on. And uh, I'm out here in Steamboat Rock in Iowa where we do our outdoor shooting. It's a good thing about... Testing your EDC outside is you learn how to adjust for the wind. You learn how to adjust for the weather. <clears throat> so you guys know Iowa weather is kind of up and down. It's winter time out here. It's chilly today and it's windy. So we're going to run a couple rounds and then we'll have a conversation. All right. Clear, YouTube. Um, I definitely can feel the difference with the cold uh, and pulling the trigger. The little recoil, you know, it don't have much recoil to it, but you guys know I love this thing. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'll explain why. Part of the reason I tore my arm up some years back, uh, I still have issues with it. A 380 is a sufficient round. I know you hear people saying they don't have stopping power. If you don't believe me, go to the graveyard and dig up some of them bodies and ask. They'll tell you. Um, but besides that, I think about the general public. And I have to think about the public at large. If I ever have to pull this out <clears throat> to defend myself. When it comes to your EDC, the gun you're going to carry the most, especially in public. <clears throat> Number one, you want reliability, but number two, you want controllability. You want to carry a firearm that you can actually control. You don't want to go and get something you don't really control it well on the range and you're going to carry it every day. You may not be the most accurate with your EDC, but if you're pretty good with it, it's reliable and you can control it and keep it on target is what you're looking for. If you're a person that does good, what a 22 and what a 45 you be shooting all over the place and is actually physically too strong for you carry that 22 don't go out there with that 45 because if you got to defend yourself you might wind up hitting the innocent bystander so i always want everybody to think about that when you choose an edc besides reliability the number two thing is got to be something you can control if you cannot control that firearm don't bring it out in public. Now, at your house, you do what you got to do at your house. But in public, always think about the general public. So, till next time, hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Stay safe. Stay on. It's chilly out here today. Stay on high, high alert.